Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I am going to show you Immortal Blindfold Chess Game White Magnus Carlsen, Black Judith Polgar and don't blame players for mistakes because they are playing blindfold games so at least we have chance to say well done to both players for amazing chess game and of course i will show all variations which are hidden behind the main moves so welcome and i believe that you will enjoy this video if yes feel free and press like or press follow and made my day let's come back and let's enjoy it so okay now nothing special what will be much more interesting is this position after short castling position bishop g5 should be a novelty at this time so this game was played on 2007 and now uh, Black decided to play move e5. Yes, uh, makes sense maybe to take care about this bishop, which looks really powerful in the center, and this is a great piece. So, how Magnus Carlsen will play this position? And he is going to play move c5, and that's of course interesting chess move. Now, uh, Judith should take pawn on c5 or uh, pawn on b2, and both moves are dangerous. So, okay, let's first watch variation queen is taking on b2 of course the main idea is to take knight on f6 and to weaken it black's king so let's take this knight on f6 and now maybe a rook c1 uh, queen b2 queen g4 and rook c4 and uh, you don't need to be grandmaster to see that uh, black's king is in a huge huge danger and even maybe black will lose sooner or later uh, she is under heavy pressure okay another variation let's come back move c5 it's uh, to take uh, bishop c5 but we are nearly nearly at the same variation knight a4 is attacking queen and bishop of course uh, the main idea is to take on f6 and check on g4 and uh, i think that this position is hard it's of course it's not lost but uh, it's a danger it's a danger for black and uh, maybe uh, she took on c5 and it was not the best move or i believe that uh, makes sense to go maybe um, queen a6 and what's important still to watch this threat this is not a winning threat but of course white should take on f6 and uh, it's important for black to take back by a queen yes of course bishop e3 adds that's another option say black will take on c3 and d5 and say this position is complicated maybe with slight edge for white mainly because of these two bishops which are powerful in the opening position and maybe they are giving white slight edge yes of course i believe that this position is good for white and maybe for this reason after move c5 uh, she took on c5 by a queen magnus immediately is taking on f6 of course that's the main idea and now let's watch this position because this is nice and maybe this is um instruction position you know white like to attack black king but he's playing something else first he don't want to allow black to come back for defense so now beautiful move knight d5 where magnus carlsen is building something like wall for a black queen to not allow her to come back for a defend black king amazing move and of course here is a threat to take on f6 but at least 
this is only pawn. Uh, let's come back. Maybe it was not bad at all to play queen g4 check. Queen h4. Of course, here is a threat. And uh, yes, uh, it's a big, big mistake to take on c3 by a bishop because of deadly threat bishop e4. And here is a checkmate. Of course, this is a blind fold game. So <laughs> it's very difficult to see all these variations and it's very difficult to play the best defense. Well done to both players and I believe that Magnus Carlsen and Judith Polgars are chess stars and amazing chess players. Of course they are. So let's come back what's happened. We, we remember move c5. Hopefully we remember. And now she took on c5 by a queen. Uh, Magnus took and now is going to block Black's queen to come back. To help Black's king, so he played knight d5. That's a nice move. And d6 is a losing mistake. Maybe last hope it was to play move f5. And after maybe rook c1, uh, queen d6 and knight c7 say that uh, yes, there are some kind of white's advantage. Uh, I think that still white is much more better mainly because of too many pawn weaknesses and of course black's, black's king is still a weak king but uh, under pressure nearly everybody is making mistakes and now she played move d6 and this is a probably a losing move you know uh, since now uh, black will not have a chance to to come back for defense with these two pieces and that's really bad for Black's king. Black's king is alone and he is, he is asking for help. He is asking for more defenders. But after move d6 um, they will not back on a time. So yes, uh, queen h5 with a big threat bishop e4 and of course with another threat Knight should take on f6 and checkmate on h7. So uh, she decided to go to g7. Okay, why is a mistake uh, to play move uh, f5? Because of check on g5, check on f6 and checkmate on e7. Nice, nice. So for this reason it was uh, bad to play move f5. But just imagine that you are playing blind fall chess and it's difficult to see everything and even they are able to see till now so many variations uh, that's a great performance of both players so she decided to go to g7 bishop e4 of course there is a big big threat on h7 and uh, if black is going rook h8 is losing because of threat on f6. This knight is doing amazing job. It's not only going to block these two pieces, but of course it's attacking f6 pawn. That's a nice attack and that's a nice game. So after move bishop e4, uh, black decided to play move h6 and uh, she believed that she's okay for now. No, because Magnus is going to bring another piece to game and he played rook c1. Uh, okay, maybe bishop f2 what black played. It's not the best answer, but at least this position is tough and difficult even without this move. Uh, maybe variation or engine will tell you that uh, black should go to queen h5. But uh, that is a nice move. Uh, Rook is taking c8, queen f5, check on f6, check on h6, and d6 is falling down. And because of uh, threat checkmate on f6 or uh, big threat check on uh, c7 here, uh, white is winning. I think that Magnus saw this variation and he know that even here he's playing for 
victory. So um, what we saw? We saw h6 and now after rook c1 uh, she took on f2. Of course it's a mistake to take this uh, bishop because why did we lose uh, rook? So okay what's wrong to go to g2 and nothing queen d4 and queen h4. Now that's a nice threat still there is a threat and there is no way how to stop a white to take pawn on f6 and uh, black's position is hopeless so yes uh, what to play maybe maybe rook g8 that's a variation but uh, let's follow this variation till end check uh, check check and check and i think that uh, this is absolutely a winning position and that is no any doubt that white is winning the biggest problem for black is his uh, not playing rook on a8 very passive bishop on c8 and maybe not active rook on g8 you know if we are here on a move 23 and black's got such a bad army something is wrong with him so that's why everything is working well for magnus carlsen and let's follow this game till end so she played move f5 check on f6 that's a nice and okay what to play here is a check 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 and knight f6 is a winning there is no nearly defense so okay uh, queen f6 king g8 check on e7 and after this exchange uh, Magnus Karasen is enjoying this position till end. So she played king g7 and now after move e4 he played rook c4. What, what he is doing? He is doing uh, to, to say black queen on d4 to leave this diagonal and to not stay there of course uh, if uh, black is going somewhere but i don't know where here is not possible not possible not possible uh, this end game is lost and of course here is not possible so black has to take this rook anyway but check on f6 and knight f5 is the last move of this game because that is a checkmate and what we saw we saw beautiful chess game of magnus carlsen against judith polgar this game was a blindfold chess game and it's immortal nearly immortal chess game and one of the best chess game ever i saw played in blindfold chess hopefully you enjoyed and if yes feel free and press like or press follow and made my day hopefully i'll see you soon in our another youtube chess video thank you thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye